Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day. It is an encounter mode. On El Haluf, featuring an object 257, driven by Pink Floyd, and I mean I Floyd from the K-A-E? K-4-E? K-4-E clan. Boy, Mitch Myers, sorry. He says and he goes. I'm in a good mood. I'm in a good mood today, guys. I'm in such a good mood. I just had some chestnuts. I'm not kidding. And they weren't roasting on an open fire. I did them on the stove in a cast iron pot. First, you just snip them a bit so they don't explode. Then you just heat them up on the cast iron. With a lid. It's like an oven, but you don't have to use the whole oven. Anyways, I, I warmed them up and they were... Oh, mwah, they're so good. They have to be from Italy, though. The Italian ones are beautiful. They have smooth skin and they taste nutty and the meat is fleshy and chewy and marvelous. The ones from China taste like shit. If, they, if you see chestnuts from the store from China, they're just garbage. They're usually rotten. They got that furry skin around the outside. There's some sort of a Chinese knockoff chestnut that tastes like shit. For those of you who say, I tried chestnuts, I don't like them. You had Chinese ones. Try the Italian ones. Whew. Why am I telling you that? I don't know, because I just had some chestnuts. We're friends. I can, I can tell you. Um, he's got no gun depression. <laughs> but he's top tier. He's tier 9, and there's some lower tiers, and I think he wants to shoot them. We want to shoot them. Oh, and the E-75 hit the something, the track or something. Some part of the V thing. You know what they say. Big feet, big gun. If you're a tank driver. That hit the track. Uh, <laughs> big feet, big gun. Like that Larry David episode. On uh, Curb Your Enthusiasm. The woman said he has a small pee-pee. And the guy goes, small pee-pee? No, she's got a big vagina. <laughs> you know what they say, big feet. <clears throat> My mind's out of it today, guys. I'm not in the mood for tank commentary. If there's one thing I don't want to do today is do commentary on World of Tanks. Well, let's do it anyway. Okay, he drives up to this guy who's facing the wrong way because he's a Muppet. Shoots him up the ass and he flies off the cliff. <laughs> yeah, he must... That guy must have a real high WN8. Keep him proxy spotted. Can't deliver over the edge there. Oh, God, he's inside his proxy spotting circle, but he's invisible. Wargaming has said, no, we're sorry. You're spotted. You're proxy spotted. But he's not. Why? Because you're losing by 4,000 HP. <laughs> the, the tank is inside. Look at the little circle. The little white circle here, this one. The, the enemy is inside the white circle. He disappears. <laughs> Meanwhile, he's visible. He's getting shot. Because game works perfectly. Mr. Kellerman, this is very, very specific spotting mechanic. It is called who is winning, who is spotting. In Russia, we say things in reverse. Who is winning, who is spotting? But this conqueror is going to try and make sure that who is losing is changing. Who is losing is changing. Shoot head. Okay, now, now we're getting into the, now we're getting into the commentary here. Okay, now, now we're gonna start doing commentary. Oh, we're gonna do commentary. Snapperoonies. 497 on the, the T95 Muppet, Muppet who's facing an IS2 and forgot that there's a tier nine heavy tank. And he forgot there's a tier. They've all forgotten. Daddy, I forgot there was a tier nine heavy tank up here. I was facing the IS. And Daddy! There's a rock behind me! Let me put my ass up! 
on the Don't shoot me! What's the score? Well, there's a comet shooting him. Who gives a shit? How many shots is the comet gonna bounce? The comet shooting a V-shaped big vagina hull from the side. Learn the game mechanic. Learn to get good. Learn to aim. Learn to get good. What's the score? Help, he says. Help. Daddy, help! It's me versus everyone. Luckily, all of them are, are useless Muppets. The E75 forgot I'm here. The T95 forgot I'm here. No problem. What's this T95 even doing? What is he doing? What are you, what are you doing? Daddy! Daddy, my T95 doesn't drive very fast! I tried wedging up against the rock! That didn't work! And there's someone over there. Take a. Snap him! Snap him! Sna oh. I wish he would have snapped him. Well, why not zoom around? We're going round again. Boom! Daddy! I forgot where the tier 9 is, Daddy. I'm gonna fight the Chiri instead. That Chiri's really scary, Daddy. I think I picked the right game. For not giving it. Now he can go snap, snap the Super Hellcat, who's still there in the same position. The Comet's still shooting. Don't worry, Comet. He's coming for you. We've all got it coming, kid. Oh, snap him. Snap him. Snap him. Snap him. Snap. You're winning by 2,000 now. You can snap him. Oh, there's the Comet. Daddy, I still have all my HP. No cap kill all? Snap him. Snap him. Snap him. Snap him. This game is so stupid. He's thinking, I should have snapped him. Aiming just decreases your DPM. Okay, here's the comet. It's, it's, it's him versus the comet. Snap! <laughs> daddy, I forgot! There's a tier 9 tank here! Oh, oh, there he is, Daddy! Let me shoot him in the rear. Here's another guy. Daddy! I forgot! There's another tier 9 tank killing the comet! What do I do, Daddy? I, I, I wait for the game to be over! The comet bounced 11 shots. He did 9,301 damage. His teammates, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 of them did 0. And 3 on the other. 8 zeros. That KV-4 that he was brawling with did zero. The Comet pen one shot. <laughs> oh, no, wait a minute. It takes the Comet. Oh, he was shooting HE. <laughs> the Comet was... He did two, two shots worth of splash damage. When you encounter a very lightly armored enemy on the battlefield, or perhaps a very heavily armored tank that you can't normally penetrate, a good alternative is to load HE. Now, to be fair, guys, I did say I was not in the mood to do World of Tanks commentary today. And you're still watching, so it's your own fault. But since we're going to do it, why don't we switch it around? Another tier 9 tank, but this time instead of being fighting lower tiers, he's going to fight higher tiers. And it's Auslander from the SNGTM clan. Shout out to you guys! What could he possibly do in this game? He's got to fight tier 10s. He doesn't have any view range. 
He doesn't have any speed. He barely has any armor. What's he gonna do? Well, let's watch. Let's watch. Uh, I'm looking at the team deployment and I'm thinking, what? Like, seriously, team? Oh, he bounced the shot from the Sturver. That's just pretty good. That guy's there. Does he scoot across? What? Why? I'm trying to understand the tactic of not shooting. He didn't shoot. I don't know why. And now you're going to shoot and expose yourself. You could have shot and not exposed yourself. Which would have been a lot better. Hey, to each their own. Some people just like to expose themselves. Oh yeah, that, he accidentally did some spotting assist. <laughs> now that's funny. He exposed himself and accidentally did some spotting assist. And now he, he, act, he accidentally got all the spotting assist. Sometimes this game, what, what, what do we call this video guys? Sometimes this game is just a shit show. Look at his team deployment. What the hell is happening at A3? Does it make sense to you? I don't know. He's got too many legs. They lost the hill. Surprise! And uh, this is a push forward. This guy died like a Muppet because he... Uh, his finger got stuck on the W key. And now he's got a purge... Ooh, he's got lots of people here. He's got a... Uh, you know what? He's got that guy. And he's got... Uh, ooh, Kenny? Ooh. ooh. This is going to be a formidable opponent. This guy's doing a good job now. He's hull down. He's uh if at first you don't Oh! If at first you don't succeed, don't succeed again. Oh look, his teammates are moving up. The tier 10s are no, that's a tier 9. His team has decided that they just want him to fight. You go fight. We'll all wait back here. And um he said, "Well, I'm not going to fight." You guys fight. You can't make me. Like, he can't make me do commentary if I don't want to. Oh, it's the same guy. <laughs> he still don't poke on that. Okay, let me concentrate. Yeah, he's good. Go help the T95. That's what you want to do. The T95 is now he's getting in your way. He's going to go around the corner when he comes. And you're going to go fight the hull down Emil. Go fight the hull down Emil. Just get right up there. Right up beside him. So that he can pen you four, three times. Okay, they fired. Which means you can do this. Say, hello to my little... It, well, yes, that's one. And two. He made it easy for you. Good. And somehow they penned him. That's, um, that's a shame. I would have preferred if they didn't pen him. To be quite honest. Well, the T95 said, screw you. Uh, I know you want to play this game, but yeah, I'm a T95, so screw. And now this is going to be easy. One. Kush, kush. And two. And three. One, two, three. She was just 17. You know what I mean. What's going on? They're losing, are they? This guy's bottom tier, guys. Give him a break. He's doing the best he can. He's got 2,600 damage. He's got a thousand spotting assist. And now he's gonna shoot. Oh! He's just. Things are happening. The motion wants to drive in front of the Jagdpanzer E100. Go for it, motion. Use your big flat side to try and bounce a shot. Oh, you should have shot him, but you didn't. He just, uh, he doesn't like to shoot his gun from cover. <laughs> you could have shot your gun from cover, but hey, why not shoot your gun from right here without the gun depression? Uh, there's no gun depression where he comes. He's auto-locked. Boom. That's pretty good. He'll be coming around. Oh, the manticore. 
The pesky manticore is doing some spotting. Okay. Does he just... Whoa! 1,035! And now you can do the flanking maneuver. Don't shoot yet. you got a lot of time. Don't shoot yet. Go around him. What are you going up the hill for? For God's sakes, man. You want sausages? You're trying to flank him and you're driving up the hill. It slowed you down. Drive straight to him. Go around him. 710. Down by 3,000. I can't wait till this one's over. I can't wait till it's over, guys. Shoot the manticore. That manticore has no right to be a pain in the ass like that. And he's auto-locked. He's got no outline. Because, you know, the, the game is telling him, screw you. Uh, boom. Is this guy, now, the game has become respectable. His performance has become respectable. That Jagdpanzer E100 could shoot you in the ass. Now, be careful. Yes, yes, your ass is fluttering. Oh, you are so lucky. You are so lucky that the Jagdpanzer E100 is a Muppet. You are so, so... So, well, a little bit of luck. A little bit of skill. Yes, beautiful. Patience. He made the shot count. And the manticore goes ouch. And the manticore goes poof. And now he can go make the STRV-1030 look like a child. Make him feel like a child. Make him look... Make him feel like the Muppet little child weenie man in an strv that he is make him feel so silly for taking it out of siege mode make him feel like a oh once up to and, and just uh, uh, you feel like a child huh? you feel like a child wah, wah. very respectable just look up very respectable game guys very res what is this what what is that don't run away you're just aim and shoot what are you doing? I don't understand this guy's um, strategy sometimes. You had the kill. But he's going. He's, he's a team player. He's going back for the cap, which uh, is commendable. Guys, it's commendable. He, I mean, you had a lot of time. You could have got the kill on the artillery. But, hey, having said that, there's two in the cap now. So it's a good thing he went back. I stand. I call out when, I'm, when I stand corrected. What are you doing? He's right there. Yeah, there you go. It's, it's like he had his gun locked on the other guy. What, what is wrong? How is your gun doing that? How are you auto-locking on them? He was auto-locked on the other guy. I think he, he was coming up there and he was auto-locked is what he did. And now the standard B is going to try and make him pay. But he's not going to make him pay fast enough. And the guy's going to be loaded. So, um, you know... Uh, so standard B is uh, thinking, well, I got a lot of shots. But he only needs two. And now he has to fight the badger. Oh, the badger. What are we going to do? There's a badger in the cap. Oh, the badger is formidable. Hull down badger. It's redonkulous. Oh, the hull down badge is going to break the game with that Travis speed. 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 The badger. This guy. Phew. Wow, man. This guy is. Um, it's interesting watching different people play. Like, there's only 24 seconds left now. You're spotted. You let the badger know which direction you're coming from. And now. Oh. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. Boom. Boom. That didn't reset the Badger. The Badger could win the game now. Is the Badger going to win? 
Oh, the badger's been reset. He used his armor, but the badger armor didn't hold up. Oh, the badger. Oh, look at the travel speed. It could break this game. Such a formidable tank, the badger. Well, guess what, guys? Guess what? The badger. Uh, let's say the badger is um, a one-trick pony. The badger knows how to lose his tracks and become immobile. And is so freaking slow that even though this guy is reversing, Mr. Badger, how are you? We're so glad this replay's over. Do do do. And you have witnessed one of the weirdest Klaus Kellerman videos that you'll ever see. I don't know what's going. On. It's another one of these where I don't know what's going on, but he did um, almost, not quite, but almost ten thousand damage, nine thousand two hundred ninety-four, and he, you know, lost a shit ton of credits because why not? And um, so on and so forth, and etc., etc., etc.